Good morning. I want to show you how to make two of my favorite shakes. I'm going to begin with a plant-based shake. So I'm going to start with 10 to 12 ounces of unsweetened coconut milk. You can really use any kind of milk that you like. I really like the coconut and the almond milk. They're my favorites. Just make sure it's unsweetened. I'm going to add the plant base, two scoops of the plant base, and I added a little fiber to it, two tablespoons of the fiber -G. So I'm going to add that. I have my banana flavor booster. I like to add one little packet of stevia in the raw for my plant base because the plant based shake has zero sugars. So just to sweeten it up a little bit, I like to add stevia in the raw, some ice, just a couple of cubes of ice, a banana. I love to keep frozen bananas in the freezer to make recipes for later to make really healthy ice cream. I always have bananas on hand and I'm going to show you later how to make some fabulous banana pancakes. I'm also going to add this peanut butter powder. There are a lot of peanut butter powders out there. Really try and look for one that only has one ingredient. And this one I absolutely love. It's called Pure PB. It's by Crazy Richards. It only has peanuts as the ingredient. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of this. I am a nut butter fanatic. Any kind of nut butter. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my Nutribullet. I like to save one shake for um, lunch later, so I, I usually put it inside of another shaker bottle. Let me go ahead and grab that shaker bottle. I put it in my shaker bottle and I save it for lunch. Nice and creamy and the peanut smells so, so good. I've been having this one all week. So I'm going to save this one for later. I'll pack it in my lunch and it'll be ready to go with me. And now I'm going to make my next favorite. I don't even clean out the Nutribullet. I go ahead and just start from here. So now I'm going to use unsweetened almond milk. I just came from the gym about an hour ago, so I am going to do the whey base. So I am going to start with two scoops of the whey base, and I also added two tablespoons of the whey protein. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Another half banana. I always add a half a banana. I just think it makes it creamier and richer. I'm going to add the chocolate base. This is called my chocolate covered cherry. Frozen dark sweet cherries. I don't add ice to this one because the frozen berries already make it really nice and creamy and thick like a smoothie. Go ahead and blend this one. This one's going to be my breakfast shake. <laughs> And that's it. This is so delicious. Chocolate covered cherry, peanut butter, banana. It doesn't get better than that. And what, one other thing I really like to do is I like to have my probiotics. I either put it right on top of the shake or I just put it right on my tongue. It tastes fabulous and it's really great for digestive health. Hope you enjoy your shakes. I can't wait to hear some of the fabulous recipes you're making. Cheers.